Hello everyone. Today we are going to look for the drawing of a jagged vein. A jagged vein drains blood from the thoracic wall and upper lumbar region. It forms an important collateral channel connecting superior and inferior vena cava. It serves as the main collateral channel to shunt blood from the upper half of the body to inferior vena cava in case of supervena caval obstruction. This vein is present on the right side in the upper part of the posterior abdominal wall and the posterior mediastinum. The vein may be tortuous and has got some valves. The Jagger's vein is formed by the union of right subcostal and right ascending lumbar vein at the level of thoracic 12 vertebra. It may also arise from the posterior aspect of the inferior vena cava near the renal veins. It may be a continuation of right subcostal vein also. Occasionally, it may arise from right renal or right first lumbar vein. After formation, it ascends up, leaves the abdomen through the aortic opening of the diaphragm and enters the posterior mediastinum. At the level of thoracic four vertebra, it arches forwards above the hilum of the right lung to terminate in the superior vena cava at the level of second costal cartilage. The Jacob's vein has got some tributaries, such as lower seven right posterior intercostal veins except the first, right superior intercostal vein, hemiagiagus vein and accessory hemiagiagus vein, right subcostal vein, right bronchial vein, right ascending lumbar vein, esophageal veins with the exception of those at its lower end, mediastinal veins and pericardial veins. The hemiagiagus vein formed on the left, similar to the agiagus vein by the union of left ascending lumbar vein and the left subcostal vein. It may also arise from the posterior surface of the left renal vein. At the level of thoracic 8 vertebra, it turns to the right and crosses in front of the vertebral column posterior to the aorta, esophagus and thoracic duct to terminate in the agiagus vein. Hemiagiagus vein has got tributaries like 9 to 11th left posterior intercostal veins, left subcostal vein, left ascending lumbar vein, and some small esophageal and mediastinal veins. The accessory hemiagiagus vein also lies on the left side and corresponds to the upper part of the agiagus vein. It begins at the middle end of left fourth or fifth intercostal space and descends to the left side of the vertebral column. At the end of thoracic eight vertebra, it turns to the right, passes in front of the vertebral column, pursued to the aorta, esophagus, and thoracic duct to terminate in the ejagus vein. Accessory hemiagiagus vein has got tributaries like fifth to eight left posterior intercostal veins. Sometimes it has also got tributaries like left bronchial veins. For more videos like this, please consider subscribing this channel.